Hello friends, let's learn about performance optimization you need to uh, continuing to our course of the Design Studio 1.6 advanced course. So in this uh, video, we will learn about the concepts related to the performance and what all the things we need to consider related to the performance of the analysis applications from the developer or designer perspective and from the administrator perspective as well. So first, uh, let's understand the process flow on application startup means whenever we create any application, uh, when it starts up means what are the steps it performs like first is uh, initialize data source uh, then uh, if there are any uh, variable then it will initialize that variable as well then it will come to the force prompt or mandatory variables uh, uh, without value the uh, properties so if there are any pr prompt uh, available then it will initialize it if it is yes uh, means the prompts are available then it will show the prompt dialog uh, and it, it will it will submit the prompt means when when user enter the prompt so it will go to the initialize application if the prompts are not available there means if there are no prompts in the application then it will directly initialize the application so once it initialize means it will come to the on startup means whether it is having the prompt or not or no prompt um, uh, if, if there are prompt then it will enter the values and it will uh, initialize the application here on startup and then uh, when when we uh, it will gets launched the application uh, dashboard or uh, analysis application you can say then it, it will again um, check means it is it is the mandatory variables so without uh, value so if there are any mandatory variables then we need to check if that is available then it is show the prompt dialog and again it will submit and the lastly it will render the components rendering the components is nothing but displaying the components what are the components like different components maybe container um, charts drop downs like that are the other uh, components which will that will uh, render and background processing will be start so once it is, if there is any background processing, then it will go to the back, background processing. It will again uh, do the same thing if there is anything. So based on the user interaction, how would uh, user user interact with the application, it will uh, start the background processing and rendering of the co uh, component. So this is the uh, process flow of application startup. So uh, we, we need to consider these points, uh, different different points while uh, considering the uh, performance of the applications. So first thing means we can activate the profiling as well means profiling is to get the statistics of the application means for different different information like general information, runtime statistics, rendering statistics, uh, statistics means how for general means how uh, for data source execution how it is how much time it is taking to get the data and to um, process the data how much time it is taking for rendering the uh, components like different components how much time it is taking so it can be um, displayed so how we can activate means there are two ways uh, we can uh, in a preference of that application uh, design studio application script settings there is option and we can check this uh, activate pro runtime profiling option so if you select that option then this uh, uh, runtime uh, profiling will be activated uh, the other way is uh, add this uh, ampersand profiling is equal to x to any execution uh, executed application URL. So if we are uh, appending this to the URL of that application, then uh, it will uh, activate that profiling. So after apply, uh, applying this profiling means whenever we execute the application, we will see these uh, uh, three uh, statistics. Uh, so first statistics about the general information. The second is um, uh, runtime is statistics and third one is uh, rendering statistics so it will show me for each and every uh, how much time it is taking so based on this time uh, we can analyze uh, the we can analyze the application and we can miss maybe we can uh, work on the performance uh, of the applications okay so how to measure the performance of the design studio applications uniformly so there are different uh, components we can consider for the total time design studio processing time means whenever we create an application so how much time in design studio is taking to process the application component uh, like um, means it can exclude a remote part from over time and residual time so remote time is nothing but time spent on the data retrieval on hana or bw backend uh, system unix system are not covered this on this remote time 
platform over a time is this time spent on the business intelligence platform or net viewer platform so this is uh, uh, depending on the platform which platform you are using then residual time is network latency javascript processing css parsing and html rendering so these are the different different so first component is about design studio processing time second compo uh, component which is about remote time which how much time it is taking to retrieve the data from the data sources platform is again depend on on the uh, bi launchpad uh, or netweaver platform and residual residual time is nothing but about the network speed uh, latency means uh, where the locate uh, server data uh, server and design studio are located javascript processing so on the browser means if there is anything javascript processing so how much time it is taking css parsing and stream re rendering so this this uh, different different components we can consider while analyzing our application performance uh, let's see means uh, different uh, recommendations for application designers so as a developer we will be designing the application analysis application so we should be con considering different different points while analyzing uh, means while de designing the application so the first one is logical clustering then loading script background processing parallel processing into coding and uh, nice looking features so let's see one by one so logical clustering is nothing but when the data is uh, needed to display then only the result set is needed so what is needed to display get the data from the data source that's the concepts of the logical clustering so for that we can use tab strip or page book for logical cluster, uh, clustering so it will res uh, result in a good response time so uh, the main concept is whatever we needed just get that from the database that's uh, what we should keep in mind loading script uh, is one property of the all data sources means where whatever the data sources we are creating so there is a loading script in the properties file means we can um, set it to its false means uh, by default it is false so no so it is not a big issue but it can cause performance issues uh, when there are more uh, data sources and only few are used so if you say means if you have 10 data sources and if you are uh, setting loading script is equal to uh, true then uh, whenever the application is initializing all the data sources will be initialized initialized which is not required means all the time is so we can make it as for uh, uh, true so uh, what we can do uh, set load in script is equal to true uh, and we we will be using in script means whenever uh, we we are we need any data sources uh, data then in the script we use ds underscore one dot load data source so this function we can use so whenever we need it so this way uh, it will load the data otherwise it will keep just idle um, that 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 will surely improve the performance when there are more data sources so again uh, um, background processing so when the uh, it is displayed on the application what is displayed on the di application is what is process at the background so we need to analyze these things uh, profiling uh, runtime runtime profiling is one option where it can be useful means to analyze the background processing so we need to use this uh, option and means we need to uh, use it wisely okay parallel processing is again means one major thing means which is uh, again important uh, for the performance for point of view which is um actually par parallel processing will benefit uh, in a good way means like it it will um, uh, improve the performance of the data source initialization variable handling rendering rendering time fetching result set and uh, property binding so what to use means parallel processing is not free as it uses additional resources so means we 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 should it wise uh, use it wisely or means we should understand its uh, risk as well means if you are using parallel processing so we will be covering detail in the next uh, lesson for this about parallel processing so coming to improve coding so coding is also more important means we should not write any unnecessary codes which are not uh, needed um, because it will uh, take the time to process so we we should use this uh, different like functions load data sources uh, in parallel in a scenarios we can use uh, read multiple uh, statement with one statement instead of multiple ones so you can use get members function prefer data bound properties over scripting application dot set variable value uh, so statements are grouped together they handle as one request so 
these are the things we we should consider while coding so again nice looking features are means uh, it's good to display on the analysis application where it will look good for the users as well but we should understand their risk as well means so fully cache page book and pixel based scrolling uh, requires a lot of processing time so we should understand this um, is at least means uh, we we should um, use uh, page book uh, page caching only if needed or page books so if check if caching mode is uh, adjusted is sufficient also use pixel based scrolling within the given recommendation so it has some recommendations regarding this pixel based uh, scrolling uh, scrolling so we should understand the the recommendation and use it wisely okay let's understand about the details about the parallel processing scenarios means what is uh, what are the different scenarios and how we can use so parallel processing is supported only on the bi platform or locally deployed uh, designed studio applications so it is not uh, supported in sap net viewer so we should uh, understand that that parallel processing is used for the applications which are deployed on the bi platform or local applications it can be used with all data sources type sap bw sap hana universe so it has some limitations that we cannot be used uh, par parallel processing cannot be used with the planning enable query so planning we will be seeing in detail how it is there so uh, for this planning app uh, enable queries we cannot use uh, parallel processing it cannot be used in application with merge prompt set to true so there is a problem uh, properties for the application merge prompt uh, which is if it is uh, true then it cannot be uh, means we cannot use parallel processing so points to remember do not execute queries with the very short run time in parallel as the overhead might be bigger than the performance improvement achieved by parallelization use additional processing groups causes additional scenarios in the system so let's see means this is a sequential processing we can say means um, it is it is about two queries one is on uh, abap and in one one uh, one is on bi platform so if you see means it it has um, the sequential performance we can say means the first is da starting is data source starting how much time it is 1.5 seconds almost loading of js library javascript library is 3 second main session uh, then olap q1 is uh, around 2 second bics query 1 2 uh, second olap query 2 2 seconds then bics is query 2 2 uh, seconds so on startup so rendering 2 uh, seconds so in in total means this is uh, what uh, what is this means time is taking for rs1 and rs2 so for this two uh, so as this is going to happen sequentially it can take time so if you are using parallel processing with the processing groups so it will save the time so if you see means um, till this point it is same but for this uh, rs2 means it has created one new session as a parallel processing for all up queue to 2 seconds so this will uh, execute on the same time this two again will execute at the same time so it can wait and on startup is and so this much uh, time has been saved on the uh, when we use uh, processing groups so processing groups means we can enable means how we can so processing groups is Uh, application startup means default group is query one and query two. Uh, we can group wise make like group one, group two, and in group one we can make sequential query one, A, B, C. So these uh, queries can be run sequentially, but the groups will be run parallelly. So group one, group two, and default group which will run parallelly. So it will improve the performance. Render components the final uh, means it is displaying the components and show the application. okay so now then uh, synchronize variables in unmerged scenario so means we need to uh, see means if we merge prompts if we set it as true then we cannot use parallel processing so merge prompt is nothing but merging of the prompts for the two sources and um, uh, means uh, unmerged it will be ds1 and ds2 different different prompts so we we should if you are using merge prompts then we cannot use parallel processing so for that means we need to use unmerge uh, uh, prompts 
so in case of unmarked scenario means when we are using this unmarked means what how we can do this means go to the prompt uh, dialog settings and then in in that means we can use a text property for all data sources and uh, transfer the selected variable values to all data sources and use the on before prompt submit event for the application so this uh, this properties we can set in an application property okay so now let's see performance recommendation for administrators so from the administrator perspective there are different settings which we can enable so first one is javascript compression on sap bi platform uh, 4.1 so there is server.xml file which is used uh, you know, to reduce the file uh, transfer size during the first time load of the application so this can be for, uh, available in the uh, server in the comp folder of the server.xml so we need to enable and in that connection xml element we need to add this line so that it will uh, it will reduce the file transfer size when when we are loading the application so this is one thing we uh, administrator can enable low latency means the design studio server and data source server should be on the same uh, location or same data center and it should be on the same network so if it is in a different uh, data center or a different network then it it will cause a latency issues so it will affect the performance of the application so make sure that means it have it, uh, the servers are in the same location or same data source center browser cache so this is again means browser cache we need to enable so because many applications are using client side uh, slide uh, libraries so if it is loaded uh, every everything uh, every time application runs then it can cause a performance issues uh, to the application so we should enable the browser cache so so that whenever uh, the application is being used uh, run means it will use the cache for uh, loading the application which will which will loads it far faster okay so that's it from this video about the performance um, optimization we learn uh, about basic concepts performance recommendation for designers then details about the par parallel processing and performance recommendation for administrators so yeah i hope you have understood this concept if you have any questions then please put it in comment section if you like my video then please like it and if you have not subscribed then please subscribe to my channel as well thank you for watching